Let's finish off our show today with IEM Rio. It is the event currently going on. And there's some stuff that has happened slash gone on um, already. We've been, we're like two days into this shit. Yeah. Um, let it be known. We're going to start, I'm going to start with this. G2 is already out. <laughs> <laughs> so remember how we said it's impossible to get to do G2 games? Yeah. Nico ended this event with a .53 rating. <laughs> His worst in his career. How sorry? How bad is his hangover from Blast Four Final? So, so how, is it, how is he still hungover? I saw a graph girl and I was I was trying to find it and I cannot find it. Okay, but there was a graphic of the five worst rated players in uh, in <laughs> Rio so far. Yeah, and it was two nine Z players, and then it was Hunter, Nico, and Snacks <laughs> as the other three players. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> what can you say? Like they must have been hungover. Like there's no other way. Nico, uh, no matter how much you just like Nico, he's not this bad. I so they lost to heroic, who we think are not very good right now. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I played the fifth. I think they're okay. They're very inconsistent, but they're okay. Yeah, individually they're all good. Yeah, but the, this team is whatever. Okay, so they beat heroic. They lost to heroic. Sorry. And then they lost to Eternal Fire. Did you watch this game? Do you know how many rounds they got? Uh, no, I didn't watch it. No, I don't know. Ten rounds over two maps. Yeah, I mean, I've just seen Monacy out of 1.37. <laughs> yeah, no, Monacy that... was great this event. <laughs> how have you even been battered that badly? When you're yeah, so... it's got a 1.4. What is happening? Monacy, 1.37. Next high is Snacks, 0.71. Malbs. 0.65. Is this the part where we bring out the Kassad tweet of, I was watching you, Nico, as you ruined Malbs? As you ruined Snacks' chance of winning I am. I mean, like, <laughs> well, that's, uh, I don't know if you saw that stat that was going around. It's like when Malbs is under one, G2 just don't win. Mm -hmm. Like, if Malbs plays badly, G2 just don't win. Which is interesting and a team with Monacy, Hunter and Nico and Malbs is literally that he's like the, the talisman he's the linchpin I mean they're they're looking how they're looking for how they play the game later this year when Nico joins Falcons well yeah pretty much I mean they yeah they have the best Nico replacement in the entire world uh, he's just he playing just, anchor roles for them he's playing anchor roles uh, it's frustrating all right um Let's start. Let's talk about the entirety of Group B. So this is the group that G two is in: uh, Vitality, Nine Z, Virtus Pro, Mongols, Eternal Fire, Astralis, G two, and Heroic. Um, Vitality is already in the uh, fi group finals. They beat Nine Z in a best of one, and then beat the Mongols two zero. Yep, as expected. Uh, as, yeah, exactly. Uh, the other bit of this is a little bit more fun. Astralis beat Eternal Fire. Meaning they set up a nice little semi-final match against Heroic. Now, let me yeah. remind you that there is a lot of players. Actually, every player from the Heroic team that did well in 2020 to 2023. Was in this game. Was in this game. And mm -hmm. by in this game, I mean I'm not convinced some of them logged into the server for a bit. Heroic. Uh, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Device was the worst player in the server. So Device is the worst player in the server, but Heroic won. And I caught this game. It was pretty handily. I, it felt yeah. like. Hero kind of was in the driver's Astralis account. are just kind of bad. Like it's just the way, like they're just kind of not very good. And I, they chose to fake an injury to one of their players to yeah. be worse, or at least like not significantly better. <laughs> yep. So far, I mean, like so far, <laughs> it's a low bar. It's, it's a very low bar. Um, so that sets up a Vitality Heroic uh, group final tomorrow as we're recording, Wednesday as when you're hearing. Um, in group A, Navi beat Imperial to literally no one's surprise. Yeah. Uh, Complexity lost to Liquid to... Pretty much no one's surprise. Pretty much no one's surprise. Uh, FaZe lost to Furia to... Mm. The, the problem is, it's not a surprise that FaZe lost to Furia, but if you told me the other way around, uh, it also wouldn't have been a surprise. It's not a surprise that FaZe lost, but it is a surprise that Furia won. That, you know what? I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. on with you there. Um, <clears throat> and then Payne lost to Maus in a very close game that was yeah. actually quite good to watch. Um, that means Navi and Liquid played in the upper semis. 
Liquid lost that game. Furia beat Mao's in the upper semis. Again, surprise. Everyone's fucking surprise. Yeah. Case Alto is just back. It, it is an event back. in Rio. So that does help. Yeah, I, there is some Brazilian magic going on here. Yeah. You got some plot armor on. What I want to talk about here is in the lower bracket, phase beat Pain as expected, and then beat Liquid 2 0. Something about this phase team is kryptonite. <laughs> Liquid against... cannot beat them. <laughs> No, but here's the thing. Liquid beat everyone fucking else. They beat Navi like a couple times since they've who, who is kind of undisputed the best team in the world right now or maybe disputed with Vitality. They can play really well up into Vitality, but every time that Twist looks across and sees Kerrigan, this whole team forgets they're playing Counter-Strike and goes back to fucking Call of Duty for a minute. Twist must be Fucking sick. He must be sick to the back seat of seeing Carrigan over there beating him. Carrigan doing his fucking clap for doing that too. That's what I every time I wander around I'd just look at Twist and do the clap. <laughs> He'd go fucking mental. If he he would be unable to hold his mouth by the end of that one. And neither uh, neither would I to be honest. Uh, he must be so angry. Because they're so good and they just constantly lose to this mediocre phase team who just aren't that good. No, they're, they're just not, not that good. They're not good. They lost a... Like, I mean, they're the best of one, but they lost a Fury. They lost a Matt to Pain. They're not good. It just... It doesn't feel like they're good at all. Like... They lost to G2 in Fall Finals. Now, that was a good G2, for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean... Like... I will never hold a G2 loss or rate a win against G2 very highly at all, because it they, just makes no difference. I'm sorry. They are a complete the beginning- anomaly. At the beginning of last month, they lost to Sangal and Complexity in Pro League. What more do I need to say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> FaZe and G2 are two of the, like probably the two teams that are hardest to predict at any point. All right, so let's let's tidy this up here. Who's winning IEM Rio, and why is it Navi? It's Furia. I'm all in. That's also an acceptable answer. There were three acceptable um, answers here. It was Navi, Vitality, and Furia. Um, I would have taken any of them. <laughs> well, when you look at Group B, you've got Vitality, Heroic, and then one of Astralis, VP, Mongols, and Eternal Fire. Maybe Vitality, the rest are not winning this event. No. Like, I, I love they're... Eternal Fire. I love the Mongols. They're not winning this event. No. Um, group A, therefore, has Navi, Furia, and then either Mouse or FaZe, probably. Um, <laughs> I mean, probably. They're 1-0 up against Complexity. Um, yeah. No, no, no that, that's not what I was laughing at. I'm more laughing at the, the FaZe or Maus going like, against any of the other teams. Again, it's, it's a team who aren't very good but have really strong resolve versus a team who are good and have no resolve whatsoever. It's, it's, it's like... It's, the mo- it's a movable rock in front of a... Spurs versus Everton or something. Like. It's just... Like, I mean, actually, Everton's a terrible example. Spurs versus, like, I don't know, Arsenal with 10 men. They just have no interest in playing the game, but they're just going to grind it out. Um, yeah, no, like, Mouse will probably bottle it against FaZe somehow and lose. Um, and then FaZe will lose in the quarterfinals. I think, yeah, I think it's probably a Navi win, isn't it? It's the most, it's like a 30% or something, or like 25% Navi, and then like a 20% Vitality. And, and then, then the field whatever's is like, left is Furia. The field is like 55%. Furia is like 50 uh, Actually, that's probably high. I think the chance of anyone other than Navi or Vitality winning it is probably under 50%. Yeah, combined. Yeah. Yeah. I nice. think if you were taking Navi or Vitality or the field, you'd take Navi and Vitality. Yeah, I'd agree. I think. Unless Furia somehow become the best team again because they're on Brazilian soil. I still wouldn't trust them. I don't trust them as far as I can throw trust, them. Last I, I trust I Navi and Vitality. F- Bro, so I cannot throw five people, so it is well, quite that's true. Cool. I could probably uh, throw, like, I could. Fallen's quite tall, but I could throw, like. He's a little one. Schools, I think, is quite little. I could probably throw him quite far. Cicerato's right. quite little as well, actually, I think. Yeah, but he's, he's, like, he's kind of big. He's kind of jacked. No, up, I like could it. throw him. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Maybe you. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I could throw him. Alrighty. Uh, we are going to end it for this week. Uh, we will be back next week. Yes. Assuming that none of us get sick again. Um, we will be back next not. week. 
Um, our editor is Mac. Our producer is James Serpa. You can find us on Twitter at, at Logan Rehub, at AZ Eskin, at RetailDR. And we will uh, we'll talk about Rio again more next week when Furia win. Peace out.